sometimes when you're doing research, you will come across an article that you're not able to read or download without paying an access fee or subscribing to a paid service. This often happens with articles that you find online. One place students often use to find articles is Google Scholar. I'm not opposed to that. In fact, Google uses a different search algorithm, so you can often use the same search terms you're using in EBSCO, but you'll find different articles on Google Scholar. I want to show you how not to have to pay for articles that you find online that might be blocked with a paywall. Let's say you find this article and it sounds perfect for your topic. You click on it, it takes you to a page that asks you to pay or subscribe. After you click the link, it takes you here and you see that download PDF link right at the top and you click on it and you're blocked. This is not what you want to see. I mean, it says you can create a free personal account, but you would only be able to download the articles they provide for free. You still have to pay for the premium content, and this article appears to be part of their premium content. But when I come across something like this, I usually will hit the back button once, and I will highlight or select the title of the article and copy it. You can use Control and C on the keyboard or use the edit and copy links from the top toolbar. And then I go back to my EBSCO search page. Let me remind you quickly how to get to that page if you haven't found it. From the Anoka Ramsey homepage, you would hover over the student resources link in the blue bar, click library from the drop down menu, and scroll down the page until you see the scholarly journals and newspaper databases bar. Click on the bar to open the section. From the list, um, you can see that there, click on the word EBSCO. And that's going to take you to our collection of EBSCO databases. If you're off campus, you'll need to log in with your Star ID and password to access these. So I've clicked on the CINAHL database from the list of databases. I'll right click in the search box and paste the title from the article page that we found in Google Scholar. Be sure to put quotation marks at the beginning and the end of the title in order for those words to show up in that order in the search. This will make your search more precise. Then click search. If we have access to that article, it will come up in the search results. Here you can see that we don't have access to it because it says your initial search query did not yield any results. Your next step is to uncheck the box that says full text. You'll probably find it on the left. Click search again, and if we can borrow it, it will appear here. Click on where it says link to request full text. This will take you to our library search page where you will click sign in to log into your account. After you use your star ID and password to sign in, then click request via interlibrary loan. On the next page, you'll see the article listed. Scroll down to make sure your email address is listed correctly and click send request. You're almost there. Don't forget this step or your request will not go through. Click I agree with the terms, which is referring to the copyright restrictions listed above the link. And you're finished. If one of our lending partners has the article, it will be emailed to you within a couple of days, sometimes even the same day. Thanks for watching. If, and again, if you have any questions about searching or finding articles, please contact the librarians at Anoka Ramsey Community College.